Hello guys, I added a new feature to my fast sculpt add-on and this is the possibility to add objects in sculpt mode. I always find it annoying and I guess I'm not alone with that, that when you want to add new objects to your sculptings you have to switch to object mode, then you have to open this menu and select the primitive that you like to add and then if you haven't set the 3D cursor before you added the object you have to reposition it before you can go back to sculpt mode and continue your sculpting process. I know a lot of time wasted and your process is interrupted, so I implemented this new feature to add objects in sculpt mode. Here in the add objects panel you select an object type and then you hover with the cursor over the point where you want to add a new object and then you press shift and A. That's it. Then you can press the tab key and go to edit mode to adjust the size press the S key and resize it or adjust the location and after that you go back to sculpt mode by pressing the tab key again and remesh the object so that you can directly go ahead and sculpt this object which is defined as active. I speed this up now a bit and use the grab and the crease brush to turn this object to something that looks a bit like a tooth. Ok, now let's suppose that we want to duplicate this object and move the clones to appropriate places on this kind of jaw object. Then again we would have to go to object mode, press shift and D and duplicate then G and move them. But with the new feature you can avoid this, you just select scene for the type and then the object that you want to duplicate in sculpt mode. So I select the tooth, then I move the cursor over the location where I want to add the clone and press shift and A. And here we go. So in my opinion it's again a great time saver. If you like you can go to object mode after that and then select these new objects because all these clones are separate objects and then use tools like the transform to adjust location, rotation or scale. You don't have to hit an object with the mouse cursor to be able to add it to the scene. In this case it is added at the location of the mouse cursor, but otherwise the location where you hit the object with the mouse cursor is used. Here's another example for fast prototyping and in this case I want to add a sphere hover with the cursor over this point, shift and A, press tab to go to edit mode, S, scale it down, tap into sculpt mode again, remesh and then continue sculpting. Ok guys, the add-on is free, I added the link to the description below, but I'm sure you would like to know how this is implemented with Python. So let's have a look at the implementation of the add object operator. Like all operators it is derived from the class operator, the name is add object and here in the invoke method I get the active object from the view layer. First I go to object mode, you remember I have some utility functions to switch the modes. This is very simple, just a convenience layer. Then I store the mouse location in a local variable, the 2D positions for X and Y and then I get the regions from the context, also for 3D. I need them to retrieve the direction and origin of the current view to do a ray cast because I want to know if we hit another object in the scene with the mouse cursor. If this is true and I hit an object, I use the hit location to add a new object and if not, I use the location of the mouse cursor. Ok, then I check which object type we want to add. This is stored in the scene property add object type and depending on this I call methods to insert a sphere, cube, cylinder or torus. 
Then we have the other option to add an object from the scene. This means the user selected the scene value for the object type in the panel. Then I check if a scene object is selected in the dropdown. And if this is the case, I deselect all, make this object the active one and duplicate it while I link it to the scene. So we created a clone. For that I just have to set the location. Then I deselect all again, make the clone object the active one. So that we can directly switch to sculpt mode with this object being active. This means you can use your brush and without further ado sculpt this new added object. Alright guys, that's basically it. I hope you like these new features. If you do, then let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned. Support the development by being my patron. This would be great. Thanks for this. Thanks for watching. And I see you on JNM.